Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, let me say, uh, within the next day or so, the NFL is going to announce its schedule for the upcoming year right many people are going to get hot and bothered you're going to see as happens every year the odds on many teams change here's what you need to know we already know the opponents that the teams will face next year i don't believe the order in which they face them are as important as who the teams will face if you have a pen and paper, you want to write this down. Get a jump on the casino. Get a jump on everyone. Right? Understand, and this information is already in the public domain. Next year, the NFC West. You know them. Reigning champion Seattle. The San Francisco 49ers. The Arizona Cardinals. The St. Louis Rams, which seems to be a wise guy pick. They're going to be playing the AFC West. Right? Denver, Oakland, Casey, San Diego. So what that tells us is that the NFC West and AFC West are going to have very difficult schedules. Looking at the other brackets, understand the NFC South is going to play the AFC North. The NFC North is going to play the AFC East. And the NFC East is going to play the AFC South, right? So those are the matchups that you need to think about. Now, if you're looking for teams to place futures action on at very long odds, let me just say this. The team that seems to have the easiest road schedule Right? Because road games are the hard games to win, especially for indoor teams. The elite team that seems to have the easiest schedule are the New Orleans Saints. Right? Let me just read the teams who the Saints are going to play on the road. They're going to play the Falcons, the Panthers, the Buccaneers. Right? They know all of them. They're in their division. They're in the NFC South. They're also going to play the Bears, the Lions, the Cowboys, the Browns, and the Steelers. Now in this group, you do have some up-and-coming teams, the Lions, the Browns. But I would argue that most of these teams are middle of the pack, at least if you go by last year's record. Right? The Cowboys look like they're dismantling for this coming year. The Steelers are trying to rebuild. The Steelers missed the playoffs last year. If you're looking for a futures play on a team that made the playoffs, in fact, won a playoff game last year and has a very manageable road record here, road schedule, Take a look at the New Orleans Saints. Right now, you're getting them at 16 to 1 to win the NFL title. Right? You know the goal of hedge betting is to bet on a team that makes it to the playoffs so you can get at least the money you bet on them back by hedging against them late in the season, during the playoff season. Well, understand the Saints are such a bargain that you're getting shorter rods on the Green Bay Packers, the New England Patriots, the San Francisco 49ers, the Denver Broncos, and of course, the Seattle Seahawks. Right now, let me just read some other teams that you should just think about and explore the ramifications of, right? The San Francisco 49ers are moving into a new stadium. So we don't know exactly whether they're gonna have a home field advantage at that new stadium right before they play in it it's possible like the Cowboys at their new park 
that opponents adjust to the stadium as well as the home team. Well, understand this road schedule to me is brutal. They play the Seahawks, right? They play the Saints. They play the Broncos all on the road. I would argue, too, that the giant game in the Meadowlands is going to be difficult on the road, right? Likewise, you look at the Seattle Seahawks, and they have to face, in addition to, of course, the teams in their division on the road, and that's a handful, right? The 49ers, Rams, and Cardinals, they have to face the Eagles in Philly. The Panthers in Carolina, the Chiefs in Kansas City, and the Chargers in San Diego. Right? Let me also shift gears a bit. I know a lot of people are bullish on the Denver Broncos, right? They're made to win this year. Isn't that the argument? Right? They've picked up guys in the offseason who are supposed to contribute right away. They're going to have to contribute right away. Obviously, they play in a very difficult division, right? Both the Chargers and Kansas City made it to the playoffs last year, right? More importantly, on the road this year, they have to face Seattle in Seattle. Difficult game. Cincinnati in Cincinnati. The Rams in St. Louis. The Patriots in in New England. Let's even throw in the Jets, a tough defense, right, in New Jersey. I think that's a tough schedule. So as we play around this April 21st, months before the season, and figuring out which team has the best chance to make the playoffs and go deep in the playoffs. In other words, you want a team that you think has a shot at let's say the first or second seed in the conference. The idea is you want the team to actually get home field during the playoffs, at least for some of the games. Then I would encourage you to take a hard look at Sean Payton's New Orleans Saints. Again, understand, apart from the teams in their division, the supposed tough games on the road are... The Bears, the Lions, the Cowboys, the Browns, and the Steelers. Let me just say this. Aren't the Browns looking for a quarterback in this year's draft? Right? Understand, the Browns are making changes at key positions. Aren't the Steelers trying to break in multiple new wide receivers? Right? With regard to the Cowboys, Miles Austin gone. Demarcus, we're gone. Are you sure? My mouth is watering just thinking about this. Are you sure the Cowboys are even going to be competitive? Let me just say, I know the Bears are tough. No more Julius Peppers, right? The league might adjust to, you know, Tressman's offense. No more Josh McCall. Now you're dealing with Jay Cutler all season, right? And of course, the Lions, if there's a team that's been a perennial disappointment, I would say it's the Detroit Lions. Let me point out, too, the Lions are dealing with a new coach. So take a hard look at these odds. I believe the value being offered by the Saints is compelling, especially when you factor in the idea that the Patriots, who have a much tougher schedule, the 49ers, who have a tougher schedule, the Broncos, who have a tougher schedule, the Seahawks, who have a tougher schedule, are all getting shorter odds than the Saints. Let me close by just talking about the Patriot road schedule. Now, keep in mind, the Patriots continue to be one of the elite teams in the National Football League. They're going to have to be here. Right, apart from the teams in their division, understand on the road this year, they're going to play the Chiefs, who made the playoffs last year, the Chargers, 
who made the playoffs last year, the Colts, who made the playoffs last year, and the Vikings, the team that just added Julius Peppers and, of course, has Aaron Rodgers, right? That's a tough road schedule. I don't see tough names like that on the Saints schedule. So just keep in mind when they release the official schedules, uh, compare and contrast what I've said to the order of the teams that um, you know will be listed on the schedules. Just to understand right now, you have an opportunity to get the Saints, a team that quite frankly won 11 regular season games last year and beat Philly in Philly in the playoffs. You have a chance to get them at 16 to 1. As I see it, that's the best value on the board right now. Understand too, odds change, uh, things will change, players will get injured, right? Some team will draft someone hot. Uh, who starts his rookie year in spectacular fashion in the upcoming draft. But as of today, April 21st, the 16-1 to 1 being offered on the Saints on the Futures play is compelling value, in my opinion. Let me hear from you. Tell us the teams you like. Tell us the schedule you like. Tell us why. Understand, though. That football is a chemistry sport. It does take a while for new pieces to fit in to new teams. So I hope you don't rely too much on off-season acquisitions. As those acquisitions might not be able to save their teams in tough early road games. Thanks for stopping by.